So when it comes to Johnny Depp and A.H., the old claims, they apparently weren't enough. Oh no, A.H., she's going to make up a brand new one, and nobody gets to hear about it because it's going to transpire behind locked doors. So hey there, so today you and I, we're going to be talking about new allegations, old allegations, and we're going to talk about proof that Johnny Depp has indeed been framed. This is from Johnny Depp's opening statement. If you want to watch all of that, I actually put it all into an hour-long video, but essentially this portion and it talks about new allegations coming. Quote, as allegations go, it is hard to think of ones in terms of physical abuse between two people in a relationship that could be any more extreme or violent than those A.H. will make against Mr. Depp in this court. Recently, A.H. raised one new allegation that she even asked to be heard in private because of its supposedly horrific nature, an allegation that has never been raised before nor made anywhere in the last four Four years since this story has been blasted across publication after publication, including in any of the court's depositions or other documents produced in litigation, which has been conducted since the breakdown of their relationship in 2016, or, for that matter, in any of the contemporaneous uh, communications at all which passed between the couple or their friends. Nowhere. Now this, it doesn't surprise me as far as allegations go, because A.H. has actually been rewarded for prior allegations. I mean, if you look at that, she has been rewarded by the media, she's been rewarded by companies. Heck, even the ACLU made her a spokesman for women. What bothers me about this is the fact that anyone takes it seriously, because for four years now, we've had allegations coming out, we've had allegations changing, but this, it's a brand new one, you know, because they save the best for last. Now that, I think, is really troubling, considering we already know, number one, what type of incidents are out there, and number two, we've already seen this proverbial fill in the blanks after the fact. I mean, here we have incidents one, two, and three spelled out. This is in the same document. And look at what they already allege. So here in incident one, quote, with being slapped so hard in early 2013 that she was knocked from the couch to the floor. So that's supposed to be the first time anything happened. Now she's actually changed the narrative on that a couple of times. But now I guess that is supposed to be incident one firmly. Incident two, and being hit so hard by him in the course of a fight in her apartment over a painting on the 8th of March 2013 that her lip was split, splashing blood onto the wall. Then we have Incident 3 mentioned here. It doesn't go into a lot of detail, but it does tell you that this this is the newest alleged incident. Despite a further horrific alleged incident, when staying in a camp in Hicksville, which is one of the most recent allegations that has surfaced and is said to have taken place in June 2013. So that's Incident 3. And again, it gives you an idea of this fill in the blanks after the fact. Then we have further mention of other incidents, and again, these aren't enough either. You have incident four, five, seven, and eight mentioned. So incident four is supposed to be the nasty flight on the plane in May, you know, where he's talking terribly about her, where he ends up kicking her and on. Incident five is supposed to be an incident that happens in the Bahamas in August of 2014, where he's supposedly kicking, slapping, and grabbing her by the hair. And then you have incident seven that is mentioned in here, where there's supposed to be violence that transpired within a hotel room in Tokyo at the beginning of 2015. Now, Incident 8 is probably one of the most known ones. In that one, it is insane when you read through the stuff that is alleged. Now, this, these are her words from her older declaration. And again, remember, this, it's not enough. You need even more incidents that need to be made up. That night, Johnny shoved me into a ping pong table that collapsed underneath me. He threw bottles through window panes of glass, breaking two panes, leaving glass glass everywhere. Then he grabbed me, gripped my body and my nightgown. He tore my nightgown off. At some point, I was naked and barefoot, covered in alcohol and glass. Johnny grabbed me by the hair, choked me against a refrigerator. I tried to stand myself up, but I was sliding around on the glass floor and uh, countertop. Johnny threw me away from him, and I tried to run as Johnny continued to throw objects and alcohol at me. In one of the most horrific and scariest moments of this three-day ordeal, Johnny grabbed 
grabbed me by the neck and collarbone, slammed me up against the countertop. I struggled to stand up as he strangled me, but my arms and feet kept slapping and sliding on the spilled alcohol, and we were dragged against the broken glass on the countertop and floor, which repeatedly slashed against my feet and arms. Scared for my life, I told Johnny, you're hurting and cutting me. Johnny ignored me, continued to hit me in the back with one closed hand, and slammed a plastic phone against a wall with the other until it smashed to smithereens, which, incidentally, they say, cut off his finger. All of that there, that wasn't enough, nor is the Incident 10 we're going to hear about or Incident 11 in this. So in Incident 10, apparently there's an allegation that he hit her, he pushed her up against a wall, and he grabbed her by the throat, causing her to quote-unquote fear for her life on a train journey during their honeymoon in Southeast Asia in July 2015. Again, Incident 10, or Incident 11 here, the argument in their bedroom during a Thanksgiving dinner for family and friends in their apartment in Los Angeles in November of 2015, when Mr. Depp is supposed to have thrown her around a room, ripping her clothes, throwing a wine glass and decanter at her, shattering wine and glass onto a bed, and causing her serious injury. Now, there are other allegations that we know about as well. We know about April 21, 2016, for example, where A.H. alleges that Johnny Depp, he comes in late, it's her birthday party, he's mad, and of course, substance abuse, so therefore, he does monstrous things to her. Poopgate, it happens right after that, on April 22nd, and then we have the last incident, May 21st, where apparently Johnny Depp is supposed to be so mad that he takes a phone in his hand, he winds up his arm like a baseball pitcher, hits her in the face, plus he does all of these other monstrous things too. Yeah, those are the allegations, but again, that is not enough. Now, aside from the fact that us narrative, it continually changes, another thing that makes this absolutely unbelievable is the fact that A.H. has been documenting this stuff for years. The photographs I'm going to show you here, they're from 2013. And if there was proof of these monstrous deeds, oh yeah, she would have definitely collected it. I mean, take this, for example. This, it was showcased in the courtroom. Johnny Depp says, hey, she's been trying to set me up for years. You can see that in this. And I really do feel like this is a frame job and a half. See, this was promoted as him having a substance abuse issue. Therefore, he has a domestic abuse issue. But you notice a few things wrong with this. Number one, you see the cup here that they're presenting. Yeah, about that. You notice who it actually belongs to. But hey, you know, that's not proof, right? You also, when you look at this, it's really convenient in the way that it's set up. I mean, if you see here, you have property of JD. I mean, this is right in frame. You have an ID. It's flipped over. It could be anyone's. And well, you have all of this other stuff laid out. And the media, they were loving enough to go and label it for us. What's hilarious about this too is they call this thing here for example paraphernalia now if you look at this what i think they're trying to say is this this is a pipe this shows you how they are basically in a collusion with uh, someone like ah but you see this here yeah you can't smoke out of that because it's made out of plastic. This is an applicator. Any female can tell you exactly what that is. Why? Because this stuff, it belongs to A.H. But hey, it makes a great narrative, doesn't it? Now, I don't know what the most insidious thing about this new allegation is either. I don't know whether the fact that you have 2016 on, nothing was said about it. But hey, you can manufacture one now because accusation... That equals substantiation, and it has to be heard. Or the fact, like most other things that A.H. has thrown out there, she can either not talk about it, or she can talk about it behind closed doors. See, in this, if you look at this, she's not going to have to testify about this accusation in open court. She gets to go in, she gets to talk about it behind closed doors, and that's one of many things that she gets to do that with. There's two other glaring examples of that, too. She's not answerable because of substance abuse or use. She can throw out claims about Johnny Depp's, but she's not answerable for that. Her life is not on trial. And also, she can claim that the reason Johnny Depp was 
crazy out there was because he was jealous of other men, and that was a falsity. But she's not answerable for the relationships that she had with multiple people. I mean, you can see this labeled here for James Franco, for example. They talk about the footage of the extramarital affairs. They talk about Elon Musk, and they talk about the proof that they have that that stuff was going on, too. But again, she doesn't have to answer for that because, oh, you know, you can just make that evaporate while you're going out and destroying another person. But anyway, I thought this was fascinating because, again, Incident 14, we're going to have yet another one added on. She's not going to have to answer to anybody about it. And unless there's a leak from behind closed doors, you and I will never know what it is. But imagine it's going to be worse than all of the other ones that we've heard about. And yeah, those were pretty stinking bad. But anyway, you tell me what you think about this stuff. And this stuff, oh, it's just, it makes me so angry. So to close this out, I simply want to say thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up. You empower these endeavors. And that is beyond appreciated. More people should say that. Definitely do appreciate it, like I say. And until next time, thank you again.